Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 9. I almost said StarCraft 2, I believe. I've been playing so much of that though lately, so I'm uh, not really all that understand. Wait, the opposite of what the hell I'm talking about. Hey guys, check it out! 69, boom, pay attention to that. Stop listening to what I'm talking about because I'm fumbling all over my words right now. Uh, but yeah, we're back with RimWorld Alpha 9, continuing our colony that, uh, has so far been pretty much doomed for failure, but amazingly we've been able to pull out through relatively okay. Uh, Donger is officially starving to death, though, so I think we should probably do something about that, or he's gonna handle that on his own. Really, really want to actually get to stop grabbing food and actually eat it, you foolish man! Are you gonna cook it? Why would you bring it in there? If- just cook it! If you're gonna- <laughs> if you're gonna grab food and bring it somewhere far away to use it with, just- just eat it, you silly, silly person. Okay. So Butt Monk is also in a bad mood, so we should probably go ahead and try to do something about that. Probably because he's both starving to death and also super, super tired. Um, so... That's kind of a bad situation right there. Let's just have him use the cooking stove really quick then. We'll let him cook, um, probably like two pieces of food first, although... Most of it is officially gone. I, I I think we can actually have him cook one more thing before having to worry about that. Now that we do have a uh, hydroponics table set up, or at least two of them going, probably actually best to just go ahead and get rid of that outside zone. Um, n now that we actually, like, now that I'm actually thinking about it. And, um, excuse me. It'll be awesome and fine for us to cut down some more trees, because I, 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 I do believe, oh, I do declare that we've been running out of wood. So, uh, obviously it would be a, a very good thing for us to finish that off. Means that'll, uh, allow us, um, oh god, I, like, bit my gum right there, that sucked. Um, obviously it will allow us to continue expanding our base as per, uh, per one thing, and I think that actually is something that we definitely do need to, uh, consider for what's happening in the future because I want us to oh shoot I actually totally forgot once again that smooth flooring is designate rough z rough stone terrain to be smooth okay so maybe I guess that means we could change like all that like that used to be a cave area and and so maybe we couldn't have put a carpet there so then we smooth it out that would be kind of interesting I actually had no idea about that whole aspect of, uh, of the gameplay here but you know what? Let's actually go ahead and check all of our characters, because that's something that I've been meaning to do for a little bit. Carl is going to do some growing work, so I think I want to have him continue doing that, because it is very, very, very important that we manage food properly right now. Oh, so that's the change visually. Okay. Um, sucks that we- oh no, there's rice here, so you guys can see. I was looking at the rice patties before, or the rice, uh, food things, and I was thinking to myself, man, that does not look- any different than it did before. That looks exact. like, why does rice look exactly like potatoes? I think it's that they're actually sitting in a little box now or something. Because it it's a little bit hard to see due to the lighting, but the thing that was changed, and I did notice this, was that the top half actually looked like rice. Because it is, it it is white and a little grainy. And as you can see right there, there's a, a funny little potato sticking out of the top. That's kind of cool. So... Once Carl has finished his work with all of that, but oh yeah, butt monks are cooked, so we actually don't need to worry about Carl doing that. We'll let butt monk do it. Uh, we can actually go out, or should go out, strip down this man, probably also strip down everyone else, just so we could get their gear ASAP. And what is that? Oh, that's the gold, okay. So, um, I know that man- okay, there's the other body. So I, I believe that there's only two bodies on this edge of the map. Let's go ahead and actually have Carl wear all of, uh, the advanced gear. Okay, so we already had Synthrid. Um, since he's gonna be our melee unit, I think it probably makes a lot of sense to go ahead and have him armored up so that he's gonna be the most likely to remain safe. And now he's got that B.A. cowboy hat. Which is gonna make him, a, a total, total, um... Uh, kicker? What's, like, the word I'm... <laughs> I didn't realize I put a bed right in the doorway. That's a little bit funny. Uh, we'll, it'll make him a total draw for all the ladies or something like that. That's basically what I wanted to say. Carl! Um, Butt Monk, you can continue doing your thing. Carl, chop down one tree, please, and then 
Uh, oh, Butt Monk has already gained that one. Okay, cool. So let's actually have Carl work on the other one as well then. Because I would love to get those things finished because that's going to help us an awful lot. So then, um, I want to double check all this because I feel like there was... Was it just me making someone a hauler that was something that I kind of want to change later? I thought I affected the overview here in a way that I wanted to change eventually, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. When, when Carl wakes up tomorrow, I'll probably have him focus on doing a lot of research, um, which I think would be a good smart thing to do, because the other people can work on wood. That'll be perfectly fine for them. Carl also should work on growing, though. Oh, shoot. What happened to the power supply? There used to be power going through here, wasn't there? Don't tell me it changed because someone started, like, constructing this right there. That better not be the case. If that is, I'm honestly going to be a little bit upset with the world. So, there's still eight potatoes, so apparently that is not enough for Butt Monk to actually use the, the table. Interesting. I'm gonna imagine that it's ten that's required then. I may be right about that, may be entirely wrong. There we go. Um... Yeah, I think it was probably that the, the cord got rewired to the door when that was set up, which is kind of a silly bad thing to do. Uh, now that the plants were officially just started, let's go ahead and cancel them to something else, because as you guys know, I like trying a whole bunch of different things. Apparently we can't make corn inside, that sucks. So let's go with strawberries. We, we've done rice a lot, uh, doing it outside and all, and I think rice looks better. I mean, I, I think strawberries look cooler. I like the strawberry design a bit more. So then, um, but Monk, my good sa, I think you are going to be getting your- Oh no! You've got a Sin 3, like, full-on outfit. That's really good for him. Uh, does Donger as well? No! Okay, cool. So Donger is going to get himself a brand new jacket that'll look super stylin' for him, and he'll be the coolest of all men. Um... Not as cool as any, uh, woman I know, unfortunately, but the coolest of all men. Because apparently all men I know aren't as cool as any other women? I mean, women are freaking awesome! I love women, they rock! But, um, kind of a silly thing that apparently, according to that, no, uh, woman I know is equal to any man. Uh, but anyways... Shouldn't I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, people are visiting the colony. That doesn't really matter at all. So let's go ahead and start uh, structuring some more stuff. We'll do more wood. More wonderful wood projects. Like I said before, I don't think I want anything in this room right here necessarily. So probably would make the most sense to just make this another hallway. Like some of the other ones that we had previously. So then, if that is the case, um... Let's cancel this and make the hallway stretch down like that. That way I could have some random thing in here. I obviously don't really know what I'm going to put in there quite yet. Maybe maybe the comms console? That could be a, co a good comms console and sleeping space. And then after that, um, we definitely, definitely need to get our production room set up. So let's, let's, let's do that next. We'll make it about that long and then it'll be... Or, or that wide, and we'll make it the longest room that anyone has ever seen. Then we'll have room for pretty much everything, which is going to be absolutely glorious. And, uh, wonderful, and fine and dandy, and happy and hunky ruda day, or something like that. So, let's actually swap to also chopping down all the trees over here, because I think it makes the most sense that if we're going to be using most of our wood in this side of the map, to actually also go ahead and, um bill or cut down trees mostly on that area so butt monk is having a hard time once again hopefully that won't be a problem i need to lower the heat in this room here let's lower it to like one degrees because that well no let's let's try 10 and see how that affects things see if things are able to freeze and get stored in there that as you guys know that that's one of the things that i really need to figure out this room is still 60 degrees celsius what the frickity frick frick? Why is this room so hot? It's got a cooler now. Okay, well, fine. Cooler. Handle everything. Minus 79 degrees. Oh, look at that temperature go down. Oh, that is amazing. Keep on going down. How hot is this room? This room is cooler than this room is. Or was. That is outrageous. Is the cooler also cooling this room now too then? Because this room's also going down a lot. 
But this one's going down much, much more uh, substantially now, so maybe that's not the case. I don't know. I'm gonna uh, go with the assumption that I... Oh, there's a dead monkey in there. Poor dead monkey. That I don't think I ever need to put a heater in this... I mean, a cooler in this room. Uh, but obviously, I will consider that as time goes on. This one is also 75 degrees. Wow. That's so hot. Uh, since the... You know what? Maybe we should just add two more. Really, especially since we're going to have, um, three hydroponics tables, everything considered. I don't... I, I, I don't think there's a reason not to... I mean, not hydroponics tables. Gonna have three geothermal generators before too long. Um, I really don't think there's any reason why not to, uh, build additional, uh, coolers and stuff like that. Because this is actually probably gonna be an, uh, a hallway that's gonna be occupied a lot. And even this one is gonna be occupied a lot as well. Why is this one 40? And this one is so high. Wait, now this one's going to- oh, because of the cooler, okay. I don't understand how this world works. I- I don't understand this game at all. Oh my god! It's- it's 90! It was 90 degrees! 90 degrees Celsius! That's un- that- I don't understand life. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, okay, this is 100. Yeah, this is like the world's hottest land. Basically, anyone who steps foot in there is, like, gonna die immediately, so sucks to be them. You know what? No, that's probably a bad idea. Part of me wants to open that up and see if I could kill people due to heat. I mean, that might be a fun thing to test out. Because, obviously, there is so much heat being, uh, passed out into here. I don't know. Honestly, that actually could be part of the reason why all these, uh, rooms touching it on the sides are so hot. Because maybe heat is traveling, maybe all the heat building up in here is traveling through the walls uh, to the rooms next door. So really all that means is that we just have to keep lowering the heat, I imagine. I mean, hopefully that works eventually because it very easily just could straight up might not, but I don't know. Uh, oh, it's Donger's birthday. Happy birthday, Donger. And uh, a group of random schmaltzy people are passing by. Let's lower this one as well. Is this actually getting lowered? Oh god, it doesn't seem to actually be lowering. Let's bring that to like negative 100 then. See if that actually makes a change. It's like close! Made a change of one degree! Oh, oh! My god. My god. What? Fine, like negative 200 degrees Celsius. That better bring down the temperature in here. I mean, if if heat from here is seeping into the other rooms, I think that does make a lot of sense why that one is so hot. But I also really don't like it. <laughs> okay, we've got poor mood. Donger is in a poor mood. What's up with you, buddy? Starvation. How are we still starving? I thought there was like plenty of food being grown and stuff like that. Carl, my good man, you go ahead and start harvesting these foods or uh, items of food or whatever. Oh no. Okay, Donger, that's far enough to bring that thing. Can he cook? No, he can't. We need to cook, Jesse. Uh, Carl, sorry, buddy, but I'm gonna have you work on that once again. And then that's not enough food. That's still only eight. That's insane. Here. You, uh, Carl, work on that. Harvest. But, Monk, no. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. No, that's, what? No. Don't tell me that 12 is not enough to do growing stuff. Drop that, and you drop yours. If, if, no, Carl, drop it. <laughs> that's still not enough. Is it because it's not piled up? What the hell? No, I don't want you to repair that. Okay, whatever. They're just gonna eat the raw food because the game doesn't like me and doesn't want to work the way that I want it to. So that's unfortunate for us. Um, Carl, please stop eating. We need Donger to get food. Uh, I wish he wasn't chilling so far away. He is starving to death. Why is starvation? We have three people. Why is starvation such a problem with this colony? Here, uh, butt monk, cook food. Donger, don't eat that. Don't eat that, you frickity frick man. Okay, you drop that. Donger, eat that now. Good work, my good man. Now, cook more. 
And what we have to do in the background beyond all that is let's also add two more freaking hydroponics tables because apparently what we have already is not nearly enough. So that'll be pretty good for us, I think. Uh, at least we haven't had any attacks in a while, so that's gonna be the good thing for us, which probably means that I'm jinxing myself right now, and then after this we're going to get a million and one of them going, You know what? I actually recently got a comment that was suggesting, uh... Um, the, I believe it was Bradley, um, but hopefully I'm not getting this wrong again. Um, what was saying, hey, egg, uh, you're, do you're doing this whole thing now, which is, uh, separating geothermal generators by one extra room of space to, uh, try to prevent heat from spreading into rooms that you don't want it to. Why don't you, uh, consider b building your geothermal generators in buildings that are completely separate from your base? And at first I thought to myself, you know what, I don't necessarily want to do that because if if this one room separation thing works then that's better in my mind because then the geothermal generators in your be base in your base the geothermal generators in your base uh it's in your base and more easily accessible but if heat is causing us this many problems we're in a tropical forest i know tropical rainforests can be some of like the most humid and hot places on earth but Personally, I was expecting it to be a hell of a lot cooler than it's been so far. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we need to add some flooring. So let's go ahead and nutrient resynthesis. That would be so much better. But that's just for the nutrient base dispenser. Oh, so that's useless now. Okay. Well, then I say cream crematorium. Get the cremation. Um, because we already got stone cutting. So I, I, I think it's probably smarter at this point just to make sure that those bodies aren't giving us any other uh, negatives to mental stats. Because there are a lot of rotting corpses on the map still that we need to get rid of. In fact, you know what? We really should make graves. Uh, usually I'm much better about getting the graves set up, but apparently right now I've been absolutely horrible. Call me Senor Horrible. Horrible. It's like, uh... Uh, someone who walks the streets who's also a bull or something like that. And not not a bull as in the animal. I mean a bull as in like a bowl of cereal. How about that? That would be pretty cool. So yeah, this room is still uh, 22 degrees. I mean, the nice thing is that should refrigerate the food and all that we need is it refri- Actually, no. Should that refrigerate it? That probably shouldn't. Well, let's go ahead and uh, minus the temperature again. Again. Oh, minus 270 is the lowest we could go. Uh, current power use is high. Does that mean it, like, emits more heat? Because I don't know if- No, this is still just, like, 100 here. Whatever. Every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. That's really bad. Um, nice thing is we do have some people with positive psychic presence effects. But I'm pretty sure everyone is actually male. No! Butt Monk is female. That's good, because Butt Monk has a buttload of mental problems. So then, oh, you know what we gotta do? Let's try, let's test out the, the beauty meter. Is this the beauty meter? Minus 150, is that because of the corpse? Yeah, yeah, look at all these minus 50, 150s. We need to get rid of those bodies. So we'll try to do that before too long. Apparently the, um, oh yeah, those rocks are gonna create a big old negative. So much negative in here. Uh, minus 150 for that dead squirrel, apparently. A lot of negatives here. Um... A lot of negatives here, too. That, that All those rocks is gonna be one of the really good things about getting ourselves the stonecutter's room set up. So we'll definitely need to plan for that in the future. But in the meantime, I think that's good for those graves. So let's get those bodies out of here. Strip that. Cannot prioritize. Not a hauler. So let's strip that body as well. Oh, donger. What are you doing, buddy? Since you're right there, I'd much rather have you uh, help with these corpses. Then there was one more down here, right? Yes, indeed. Okay, so let's get rid of that as well. Donger is doing a good job of getting rid of that one, too, once he... Okay, good, he finished that. Before you go up top, my good sir, go ahead and worry about that, please. Thank you. Just now, he's having mental problems. Oh, no! His right eye is scarred? When did that happen? Human right fist. Someone punched him in the right eye. What a low jerk. <laughs> what a lowly fool of a took. I can't believe we're still running out of food. This is outrageous. This is outrageous it's crazy as uh that one aristocats character would say it's outrageous it's crazy okay so i think we need to gather all the food we can once again 
There's a surprisingly low amount of food for being in the forest, like I was kind of saying before. Um, but Monk, you are not a plant man. He is not a plant man. Donger, are you a plant man? Yes, he is. Let's have him deal with that then. Uh, maybe we could even get enough so that but monk can cook it but honestly i also don't think that should be a major priority uh in fact but monk is just gonna eat himself which is probably the best way to handle this so dunger will eat that one that he's working with right now everyone's gonna have like a negative opinion of their lives but you know that's just the way we're deal with, dealing with things at this point is this like just the challenging game mode is the challenge is challenge difficult because i feel like i've done challenge difficulty plenty of times before and it's never been this hard for this long. I mean, granted, I haven't really recruited anyone, but I haven't wanted to recruit any of the people who have arrived. They've all been like tribes people and have been horrible. So honestly, I kind of figured that they'd be a detriment more than an advantage because honestly, I think sometimes that can be the case where adding more people is more of a hindrance than a positive thing. Oh well, nice to know that we actually still do have two uh, full batteries of life, so probably actually should put down lamps as well, because that's gonna help us with our mental state. Oh, the brewery! We gotta get brewery! Okay, so that'll probably also go in the kitchen, actually, to be completely honest. So let's put that, um... Is that okay in the corner? Right there? Hmm... I'm not sure where is the most visually appealing spot for this. I mean, we could just put it right down there. You know, and that'll be fine. Then it at least matches with um, where the other ones are placed and all that. So, that, so that's okay. How is... I want to see food get placed in here. Hey, it's, it's at least minus... It's like 17 degrees now, so it's better than it's been for a while. But, Monk, stop eating those berries and cook some. That's uh, the much smarter way to handle this situation, my good sir. Honestly, I I even think that we're so let's see, is this refrigerated? It's not refrigerated! I can literally not decrease the heat at all! What if I had a second one? <laughs> two coolers! This room is gonna have two coolers. That's the way that we're handling this situation. Why haven't I made spe specified beds for people too? I I if nothing else, I should at least get rid of that bed. And have uh, the people sleeping in two different rooms, because that's going to make him happier, at least. Because actually, to be completely honest, I don't think there's really too many places right now that I'd want to uh, be a uh, single, like, defined place for someone to sleep. So Donger is not in a very good mood. That's okay for him. A mysterious blight destroyed our crops. That is so bad. Donger, eat. Where's Carl? Carl, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing and grow. He won't grow. He won't grow! Why won't he grow plants? Donger! Grow plants! I'm right-clicking with all my might. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he's doing it. Good, good, good. He did one! Carl did one! What a scumbag. Okay, well... You know what that tells me? That tells me we go back to harvest. So let's do that. Uh, is There's three. Three that I can harvest. Uh, uh, there's a couple more. Um, anything, and there's a whole bunch more. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Can we, and we could get a few over there too. So let's have Donger. Oh, he's already hauling a corpse. Wonderful work, my good sir. Here, actually, I hate to do this, but I want to go ahead and strip this one. And then that's all of the corpses gone? I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I think so. Carl is going to eat that, which will make me super angry at him. But he is back to growing, so that's probably what is the most important thing in the world. So you know what? Here's the other thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to recreate a growing zone outside, put it right there, and let's grow some corn, because I haven't seen corn plants. Uh, and hopefully that will... That, in addition to the hydroponics tables, hopefully those will be enough for us to actually live off of because we are starving like big time. At least but, but Monk is cooking some more though, so that makes me happy. Are these done? No, that sucks. That sucks big old time. Okay, well anyways, I think that is actually going to be it for this video. So hopefully we'll be able to solve all these issues. At least it's making it exciting, I think at least, because um, we're having a lot of struggles that aren't based on combat, and I, and I may be wrong, but I think it's I think it's been a while 
since uh, I've at least engaged some serious hard times that weren't based on like a, a combat negative uh, or mental state. It's so nice. I mean, obviously lack of food affects mental state, so we have had to deal with mental state as well. But it's, it's mainly been starvation and it's been a very, very long time since I had a colony that like for a, a long extended period of time was starving so this is very interesting can you guys please tell me um why this room is still so hot i would guess that this geothermal geothermal generator would geothermal generator would be far far enough away and you know what actually here originally i was not going to do this because i didn't want to risk enemies landing in here but i think i might want to add a no roof zone in here and see if that decreases the heat uh, of this area anymore oh my god that brought it down to 35 degrees so hopefully that means this will actually start cooling oh wait it's going down yeah okay so actually i'm gonna cancel this because I think that's gonna be enough now. Is that already refrigerated? No, it's still not refrigerated. Whatever, that's gonna be something for us to go ahead and, and test out for the next video. So as I was saying, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, oh, it's refrigerated! At least so close, I think I think that should solve the problem. Um, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer! And I will see you all in the next one. See you guys!